Hello again, everybody. Today I'm going to be making a rice pudding. In Spanish, it's called arroz con leche. And I'm going to make it um, the Latin style. We're going to start with a big pot. And I'm going to add one cup of rice. Um, this is the type of rice I use. But any rice will work for the rice pudding. It's your preference. I'm going to put it in here. And we're going to wash it. I'm going to wash the rice. Now we're going to put one, two, and a half, two and a half cups of water. Turn on the stove to high, and we're going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of salt. Uh, we're also going to add two sticks of cinnamon. Two sticks of cinnamon. It's very important to add them at this stage. We're also going to add orange, orange peel, which I carefully took out the white part of the, of the orange. So just going to put it like that in there. adding anise, anise star, two of them. Okay, so they're all broken up, so that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add four little pieces and a little bit of vanilla, pure vanilla extra, maybe like half a teaspoon, okay? And now we're gonna let it boil. Let me just stir it a little bit. Let's stir it a little bit. And we're gonna let it boil. Now when it comes to a boil, then I'm gonna lower it to medium. Okay, so there we have it, full-blown boil. So I'm gonna lower it to medium, and I'm gonna put a, a lid on it. I'm gonna put parsh, oh, no, not the same. I'm gonna cover it halfway there. Just like that, I don't want it to boil over, so just like that. Now we're going to cook for a few minutes and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, the two cinnamon sticks are in there and all the orange peel, the anise star. The other one is over here. Okay, it's ready. So now, going to add the rest of the ingredients which they are one can one can of evaporated milk make sure you shake the can before opening it shake the can of evaporated milk before you open it so Also gonna add one can of condensed milk. Condensed milk, one can. And 
and regular milk. Okay, so this is a cup. When up to the little line of the condensed milk can, it's one cup. I do that to get all the the milk, the condensed milk out of the can. Okay. Okay, so that's one. For now, later if we need more, we'll add more. Okay, so I'm also gonna add a little bit of sugar. One, two, approximately two and a half. Two and a half, approximately two and a half tablespoon of sugar. And now we have it in medium heat. The stove is in medium heat and we're stirring it constantly so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So it doesn't get stuck to the bottom and you get like this, these dark pieces of rice. I, this is the fourth time that I've tried to videotape this recipe, the rice pudding recipe. And always something goes wrong for some reason. Somewhere along the line, I don't turn on the camera like I did in the all of them, including this one. So you're gonna see uh, that I've been. I'm gonna be using another pot, which is different from this one. It's because I'm gonna use parts of of the previous video. So I'm gonna cut pieces and and put pieces of the other ones. But it's the recipe. It's the same recipe is the same the procedure is exactly the same the only thing you're gonna see different is probably gonna be the pot okay so don't worry everything is the same finally okay I'm looking at the camera now to see if it was recording because it's happened like a whole bunch of times I don't know if it's the camera or if it's me or I'm getting old and forgetful to turn on the camera that's pretty bad Okay, this is getting thicker and thicker. So I'm just gonna leave it there cooking. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit, maybe like medium low. The thing is I don't want it to boil over, so I have to be here just watching it constantly. Because if I would've used the other pot which was bigger, I wouldn't have that problem. But here I have to watch it constantly. I think it's gonna be okay, so we'll see. I put it on medium low a little while ago and it's been cooking here like for about 20 minutes. And I think it's ready. If you if you want it a little bit more dry, you can let it uh, cook for a little bit longer. But I'm gonna leave it like this. Remember, it dries up. It dries up some once it cools off and once you put it in the refrigerator it dries up even more so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna leave it like this i think it is fantastic i think this is a perfect consistency and i've been stirring it almost constantly so it doesn't stick to the bottom so now i'm gonna pour it onto a dish to and garnish it so you can see what I garnish it with and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I want you to see me pouring it in there so you can see the consistency. So that is the perfect rice pudding, Latin style. I'm gonna continue with this. I get the orange peels that's my favorite part if you want you can take out the cinnamon sticks the anise and the orange peel now at this point but I, I just leave it on there but when we go to eat it we take it out um, actually the 
orange peel I do not take out I personally I eat the orange peel okay so I have a little bit of brown sugar here and I have some cinnamon here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little mixture here of the brown cinnamon and the brown sugar and this will give it this flavor it tastes like the topping of a creme brulee so here we go cinnamon and the brown sugar over it for a very special taste So there you have it. Um, I'm gonna pour the rest of that. Okay, so I'm also gonna put in a little, small little plate. As you can tell, it's thickening, thickening it up even more. I add a little cinnamon and the. Uh, brown sugar hope I don't run out of battery okay so there you go rice pudding Latin style I hope you like the video and please 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 if you haven't done so yet subscribe and leave me your comment. Comments are always welcome. These are little pieces of orange peel that I have there, which I did not cook, but just for decoration. Okay, and may God, may God bless you and keep you safe and hope you join me on another one of my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.